Hi guys, welcome to a new video and today I'm going to talk about the Fender TBX Tone Control and how it can be used to improve your bass tone. While more commonly found on guitars, it can also be seen on some basses such as the Fender Jazz Special and the Duff McKagan Signature Bass. In this video I'm going to show you how you can mod this to get the most out of your bass tone, but first let's have a look how it works. As you can see it's basically a stacked pot but you only have one knob controlling both of them. So the wipers inside turn at the same time. I refer to this one as the top one, just because it's easier to explain this way, and also because it will be in this position when you work on it. So the top one is your classic 250k tone pot uh, with its capacitor, and the bottom one is a one mega ohm pot to which a resistor is connected. The only difference is that compared to a normal pot where all the carbon track has resistance, like over here, so all of that is uh, has resistance, on the TBX only half of that track has resistance, uh, half for each one and the two mirror each other, obviously. Here I have drawn a diagram so you can easily understand what I mean. The red section is the one which has resistance, the green is 100% conductive with no resistance and the black is non-conductive, so nothing can get through it when the wiper touches it. This little notch is the center of the tent in the flat position and what happens is that uh, the, top, uh, the top 250k pot is out of the circuit so it doesn't do anything, uh, whereas the one meg pot is uh, um, on the conductive strip and directly connected with the resistor. The central lug here is where I connect my signal wire. The resistor is connected to this lug on one side and goes to ground on the other side. The top and bottom pots are connected to each other like this. So when I'm in flat, my signal will travel through the bottom pot, it can't go anywhere from the top one, so some of it will be filtered out by the resistor. The amount of how much of that signal gets filtered out depends on the value of the resistor. The higher the resistance, the less signal gets filtered out and the lower the resistance, the more signal you lose. Which is not a bad thing. Most pickups are harshly bright and you want to lose some of those high, high frequencies, um, as they are the first ones to go. The TBX simply allows you to control the amount of those high frequencies uh, to send to ground or to the amp. So when you turn the wiper all the way here, clockwise if you're in plane position, you're basically putting the one meg resistance into the circuit and your signal is going to have a hard time trying to get through that and as a result your sound will become brighter. If I turn the knob the other way, past the flat position and counterclockwise in playing position, the tone pot comes into play and it just works as any other tone pot would. The more I turn the knob, the darker my sound becomes. Again, the amount of frequencies that are sent to ground depends on the value of the capacitor I use. Modern basses usually have a 47 nanofarad capacitor, a 100 nanofarad capacitor can be found on vintage bases, um, which will allow you to have a darker tone. The higher the capacitor value, the more frequencies uh, you send to ground when the pot is in use. The TBX comes with a stock capacitor of 22 nanofarads, which I believe is more suited for guitar, as it tends to make the bass sound muddy in my opinion. The TBX tone kit also comes with a stock 82k resistor, which I believe really drains your signal. As a matter of fact, most people are surprised when they try one of these and wonder how it can be a passive tone. That's because the stock resistor is draining a lot of your signal. Uh, remember, you also lose volume with the resistor, whereas uh, with a capacitor you only lose certain frequencies. That's why another mod you can do is to put a 1 or 2 nanofarad capacitor instead of the resistor. Personally, I prefer the resistor. So I have been experimenting for a while and I've come up with what I believe to be the sweet spot. I think the ideal value for the resistor is between 120k and 180k. Here we have 120, 150 and 180k. I've also tried 220 and 270k, but when using them it makes the transition to 1 meg barely noticeable. So you want it to be noticeable, but not to the point where your tone pot basically becomes a volume pot, as it does with the 82k. My personal favorite is the 180k, simply because this way the pot allows me to have that extra notch in brightness without any massive volume imbalance. 
I've set up a way to show you how all these different components sound. My bass signal is going through this breadboard and I'll use the resistors and capacitors to bridge it to the ground as it would inside the electronics, so you can hear the effect of each one. The bass I'll be using has a TBX control set all the way clockwise to the one meg position, so that won't be too much of an influence. So that's it. I hope you enjoyed this video. I hope you found the information useful. If you did, please subscribe, leave a comment, and I'll see you next time.